wicked, wicked, wicked. Wicked tones, you know what I'm saying? Just don't feel the need, don't feel the need to try and be in hype, try and be a hype beast in the gym. Google it and find out. When people Google it, they'll be like, oh. Some people will be like, I knew it. And other people will be like, what? What? <laughs> Little variations you can do to, like this is me trying to hit upper back. A lot of upper back and not so much lat because I'm on an angle pulling kind of wide and open. So, but there's another, you can come out of posture, out of the posture that I recommend where this is like hip back and chest forward. So to get the last few reps, we could almost scoot our hip forward and look up and turn in. So now I'm not putting so much weight on the pad, but I'm letting the, getting pulled towards the pad and then rocking. So I'm swinging into lat and sliding into low lat by keeping this posture of this chest up and shoulders back. So it's more of an arm pull and a slide than it is a real pull, like a row. Just little angles you can change like mid set and get another pump. We opened up upper back there and kind of swung into lat at the end there. I'm just trying to, instead of being here pulling upper back now and rowing with chest support, I'm gonna open up that upper back and slide down. So now the angle is down, but I'm still pulling into like primarily upper back and catching a little more lat just because my arms are hanging out in front of me. So if I set myself up here, it's almost the same angle as if I was if I was horizontal right now and I was driving through, that's how I'm pulling on that, right? So I'm just mimicking that from a different angle and driving up through. So catching upper back, trying to flex down in. This is what we mean by like, when you say that, the saying like, don't, don't lift, build. It's like, yeah, we can come in here and these are, we're gonna do this row and this pull down we're gonna do back and we're just gonna fucking hop on there and rip that fucking shit down. Like I'm not, if I'm not thinking here of where I want to engage, which is like my mid back, like my shoulders come down. I'm trying to hit like right here, I'm trying to open up and squeeze into that upper mid back, right? If I don't think about that, I'm just haphazardly fucking pulling this thing. So I'm gonna be up here and I get wherever I go and just, and these guys like getting their fucking arms ripped out of the socket going up, which is like, I'm exaggerating that, but that's literally how people lift. Yeah. Like it's, I have to exaggerate it to make it look that bad. Cause I don't even understand how that's, how that's possible. So it's like, there's a difference between those two things. And it goes into the whole idea of building is having a reason for doing what you're doing in the gym. Like thinking about what you're doing, thinking about what muscles we're trying to activate. Like I'm trying to think about the fact that my back is tight today because I'm having shoulder issues. My shoulder's really sore today. So I'm trying to think of getting that shoulder to rock and to kind of pull into my back, kind of loosen up all that stuff that's kind of tightened up on my right side right now. Just from sleeping wrong and doing other sports that I think I should be doing, but I probably shouldn't because I'm too fucking old for them but like I'm trying to get that, that blood flowing, getting that area moving. So I don't feel like I'm like bound up. So in order to do back properly, I have to get myself moving to be able to like later on, feel my lat really extend out, let my arm really get length. If I don't get that upper back to open up, it's gonna be really hard for me to get that length later on and pull because of the tightness I'm feeling or the pain I might have, right? And guys, have, guys and girls have that issue with shoulder mobility. Like, don't think that the whole workout, like, it's like you're working yourself up to like completing the workout and getting the volume of work in and working the entire muscle group or muscle that you're trying to hit. It's not like every set is like, I mean, we're, it's, a, it's a journey of a workout. Like people have said before, like my whole workout matters and how I target things, things start loosening up as I get going and it makes me easier, to, it makes it easier to move. I can go heavier later on. But this whole thing of like, oh, we're pulling today and top sets. Like I'm gonna do one warm up set and then one top set. Like, 
fucking top set. On this pull, it's when I'm pulling here, people see hands grabbing and pulling in. It's not this. Because you see the faster I pull, the more I end up forward. I can't get my chest to lift up. So it's almost like I'm dragging the weight, sliding up through, rocking up through. So I'm using this as tension, right? So if you want to hit certain areas or back, like we want to lock down now, and I want to tuck my lat in, my elbow in, so my lats stay tight to the body, I slide my elbow tight, rock in. I hyper arch and I slide my hands as deep as I can, almost like a hook grip, sliding in. Oh. Trying to hit that like, right with that lower lat, that lat inserts, right? It's the same thing, like if I'm having shoulder pain right now or other people have issues, it's like if I'm mid set and I'm feeling that, then I need to re, like readjust and set myself again and kind of find an angle that's more conducive to me pulling on a pain free line, right? Or a smoother line. So it's like as soon as people pick up weight, they want to just start pulling. Get fucking tense and just start pulling the thing. I've been holding this for 10 seconds now. And I'll do more reps when I feel like I can, right? It's not about like rushing the set. I saw a video on Instagram last night. Someone uploaded of doing this like exercise I've never heard before. It's called a dumbbell press. Have you guys heard of this? I have not. Like I'm really thankful that I saw that video because if I didn't see that video, I have no fucking clue what a dumbbell press is. Like that's new to me. I'm shocked by that. I was like, you can lay on a bench and press dumbbells to work your chest. Get this guy a contract. Sign him up to every supplement company. Fucking revolutionizing fitness. Someone called me a someone called me a boomer. A boomer. On uh, <laughs> like, I'm not a boomer, dude. If you have, un I understand like that's a term, but the actual term is like a baby boomer. Baby boomer yeah. It's like I'm 41. Not a, <laughs> not a boomer, man. I'll take it. Is that like an insult? It's just to say you're old. I am old. Okay, cool. Next time, just say 40-year-old fuck. <laughs> like, fuck. At least it's funnier. Boomer. Like, boomer? Like, I'm so offended by that. Like, all right. Like, imagine you heard someone call you a boomer. You just flew off the handle. I'm not a boomer. Fuck you, man. I'm not a boomer. It's like prime, prime equipment is really cool. Just get rid of that fucking dial. Like, just make the tension even throughout. Like every machine has that they try to reinvent the wheel with that like yeah like people are having a hard enough time connecting as it is don't let them decide where they want the tension like they don't feel the tension anywhere most people so don't be so sophisticated like oh you want it at the bottom upper range the beginning range of the lift is gonna elicit a maximal contraction it's like it's a fucking those are both awesome machines like the plate loaded one doesn't have it, but every plate loaded one has this like dial. Like, just even tension, guys, even. The tension's got to die on a row like this. So people who do this, get comfortable here. Get comfortable holding this weight off the stack. Have some grip strength and hold on to this thing without panicking and tensing your forearm so you can rock. Because that tension's got to relax to grab it again. I can't pull too quick. I'm just here. Relax. So I, d I drop quickly, I descend, I pause. Up. Up. Using this chest pad in my hand to lift up towards the ceiling. I'm not arching back. I'm getting above things. If I don't get here, I can't snap. I can't break elbow, drop shoulder and lift chest. If I pull too soon, it's this. For sure it's lifting, because you're picking that fucking handle up and pulling it. But it's about as useful as lifting a box and carrying it over there. Yeah, a box of cookies, bring it to me. You get a, you get a pause on the mouth comment there. <laughs> right to your mouth. Pause. 
I realize people don't have this machine in their gym, and I did a video talking about these like crossbody overhead cable pull downs are ridiculous because they are. They're not doing shit. Find a better angle, work your back. This is an amazing angle for your back in the sense that like, obviously I'm not gonna be right underneath here. I can't pull this thing when I'm right underneath it. I have to find leverage on the machine so I can drop my elbow and drop into my lat. And this machine naturally diverges. So I don't need to pull. If I try to pull straight down, this thing's going out anyway. I can't fuck it up. But if I pull on the, on the angle that it's moving and I drive wide, I'm gonna get even more lat because I'm following the path. So when I'm pulling, I'm cracking on a 90 degree angle, boom, down. I'm not caving in. So I'm following the path of the machine, right? And this path is fucking crazy when you get it right, like find it on your lat, lock your shoulder down. I'm doing the one arm. This allows you to get like those one or two kind of extra inches of uh, sink into your, like right where your lat inserts. You can feel it like get down in there. There's another thing on this, I know a lot of back movement, especially rows. Hey, guys and girls, don't mind my synthol bicep. Extra synthol. It's fucking torn, you idiots. It's like, if you set the frame here, so if I'm gonna pick this up, obviously I don't just want my arm inside and I wanna just slice my body. I don't know, that's not gonna fucking get anything. I have to almost create this frame where my arm's almost open already. So I'm pulling on this open frame where my lat is now open, as opposed to just being like, and like pulling my hand up, which is like, people are doing that. A lot of people do that shit. They just pull. Because they literally think that pull days mean I just go in and find shit to pull. Like, like do you, when, you go to, when you go to go golfing, do you call it whack-a-ball? Hit the ball. Like, then lightly hit the ball when it's like closer to the hole. Yeah. Like, you create that frame, so I'm breaking down and I'm snapping on this hand, driving through, up through things. Up through things. It's not just get my hand up there, get my hand up there, and if I get my hand deep enough, my back's just gonna be huge. It's like, no, my lat is open now because my shoulder's so low that I can, when I hook this hand down, I can grab my lat. I'm arched on my lat. So I can rock on my lap by driving up through my front foot. But you have to create these, these frames when you lift, whether it be with like back, obviously, we're doing back, chest, it's a frame. So if you can do this frame and on air, this is the same frame I need to have when I'm doing presses. If there's 300 pounds in my hands or two, or two pounds in my hands. I need to be able to maintain this frame of being locked in my back, engaged in my, in my lats, sternum's up, pressure on my hands. I don't just pick up the weight and go, and just crumble like a, like a leaf, right? People forget that. 